This is the story of how we bought a Welsh ambulance and turned it to our home on wheels over the winter 2018. So, let's see how it went. Five minutes after the beginning of the journey, we already have our first problem. It's uh, the valve in the back is leaking air. So we we'll see if we're gonna get a fix or not. Not really the start we wanted. We have the tires out already. Ah, oh, it's disc brakes. I thought it was drum brakes from the back. Yeah. Well, I found out something about the car at least now. found out that the battery is definitely not charging now whether that's a problem with the actual battery or something worse well it is with that, battery because if that would be alternate so you would not you would be able to drive well but yeah. it's diesel so you would no um we don't know probably yeah it's probably gonna be the battery to be honest mm. but we shall find out stay tuned <laughs> <laughs> disaster <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. But we cannot turn down the car because the battery is dead. And we need to check the oil fluid because we're having a sign, so this is what happens. And who would have guessed that if you open an oil cap while the engine is running, it's going to spray oil all over you and the van. Look, even the window, even the... <laughs> Selling you within, though. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's turn it on. Yeah, it's not a big one. Uh, so as you can see, we made it to Leeds. But that was the easy part. Now Piotr is going to try to park it in a very, very, very tight space. As you can see at the moment here, inside is a complete mess. We have stuff that came out of uh, Quasimodo, our old van. And we obviously have a lot of stuff here from this van. So we need to start starting to make a little bit of sense here. I'm gonna try to remove these two seats now. These other two seats that we bought, we have seat belts and everything like that. Those ones are gonna go there, facing each other, and the table in the middle here and then other things that go off I think that's the air conditioning I'm not really sure but I think it is that will go off we're gonna suffer maybe but I don't want an air conditioning I think the space can be used better that panel there needs to go off as well this one here all this long here that's where the bed is gonna go so that needs to go off as well and then this one we're keeping and that space there is gonna be our shower. So that eventually will need to be modified as well. Take enough. Yeah, this 
this one is gonna be our cupboard where we're gonna keep our clothes and everything like that. So today, we start with the first task of the van. We got it back from Cambridge last week. And now we're gonna remove that tail lift there. Or at least we're hoping to. <laughs> it's well made, yeah? So we need to take all that part and whatever is at the bottom as well. That's gonna be a task of today. Hopefully we're gonna get it done. I've actually managed to park it here. Just enough space for cars to pass. First thing we're gonna need to do is to find out how to unscrew this, unbolt. I'm guessing there's gonna be a lot of rust. The problem also is the electronics because it's all connected to the van for what I've heard to the actual system of the van so if I disconnect something here and the van does the system doesn't like it we might have problems even moving the van afterwards so we need to be very careful on what we disconnect and not ruin everything so I've just removed this shock which allowed this one to come down this thing now the idea is that I'm gonna remove this solar shock and the whole thing will lower because it won't have this supporting anymore so it will, it will all go down and once we have that we can actually this will be in the floor so it won't be heavy and we can start unbolting anything and just take it off at least that's the theory let's see how it works easy peasy yeah Well done! <laughs> One job done. So what you've done, baby? So we've, well, we've taken this out, now, which is the ramp. I'm quite surprised because it's much more heavier than I was thinking, so that's good for us. Next step is to take all the feet that is from there. But yeah, good progress. Take well done! Took less than what we were thinking of. Yeah. It's very windy today, but we managed to take this out. It is very, very heavy. Uh, it's all gonna go to scrap, or hopefully, if we can, get it sold to anybody that is interested. I doubt it though. I've seen this sold on the internet, the hydraulics. What does it say? A bicycle? Ah, bicycle. <laughs> Boss Lightning. To the moon. Infinity and beyond. <laughs> no? Yeah. Uh, so, there's still a lot of cables that I need to take off, but I'm trying to not break them in case somebody wants to buy it. There's a very long cable there that goes all the way to the batteries, which is our next project. Small progress, the whole tail lift is out of the van. Woo! Day number two, or weekend number two, of dismantling part so today we're gonna try to take out these two seats here right here these two and this metal, stuff. Mm -hmm. this metal stuff and probably that other seat there and then these bars here that we don't need hopefully we'll have enough time slow progress but yeah and the forecast for today is snow in England so woo <laughs> And this is all the stuff that we've taken out of the van. All the seats, all the cupboards. We're gonna be using most of this again. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. All that stuff there, that's the tail lift and the seats that we're definitely not gonna use. Very heavy stuff. Uh, Pascal is taking out some more stuff that we're gonna use for later. I'm the one working hard here. Yeah, I'm just making film. I'm filming everything for you guys and she's doing the hard work. So today is the fourth day of uh, this construction phase. The problem as you can see is that we're living in a share house. We don't have space to keep everything inside so every time that we work on the van we have to 
take out everything that we've already dismantled then at night put it back in every single time so that takes time as well but tomorrow we actually start putting the covers back in place where they're actually gonna be and maybe tackle the electronics that's something that I'm kind of putting off because it's a lot of work it's, you can see that there that's just part of it basically it's tracing all the cables seeing what we need what we don't need taking off everything that we don't need making sure that you don't touch anything that after it's gonna make some kind of problems apparently it's tapped to the computer of the car so if you do something wrong you might get some warning lights in the car so yeah fourth day i think good progress but we only have now we only have about 12 weekends left to do this so let's see how it goes this is this constru the construction almost finished watch your head Air conditioning is gonna go out later. We just need to figure out some pipes there. That's gonna be our kitchen area. It's gonna be our fridge and sink. Then here, we're gonna have the couch, sofa bed, and then here, cupboards that we're gonna reuse that we, at the moment, are outside. And this one here is gonna be our shower, so next task for today is gonna to be to cut this to, to, to make the square inside there we're gonna put the shower so what I'm trying to do here is to repurpose these cupboards uh, this was where the heating was and it was upside down in the floor I want to use it as a cupboard up because it's longer than the one that is back there, that was originally there. I thought it was gonna be a very easy task. It turns out to be a real pain in the butt. Basically, I, I needed to change that from the other side. It was around here, turn around, and then all these little things, I had to dismantle everything so I could take it off because this is where the hinges get attached. And obviously they were on this part, so I needed to take them out, put them there. So that meant pretty much dismantling everything and now I'm putting it back together. It is a real pain in the butt. So today's project is actually to uh, do a little bit of uplifting. Basically this is some covers that were in the ambulance that we don't need anymore. So we're cutting them to size to fit the gas hub. And underneath here is gonna go the oven. Uh, and it's all about cutting it to size, making it smaller. I was quite lucky actually, it looks like it's exactly the size that I needed here, but I still needed to cut some other bits. And yeah, that's, that's the project for today. So we got this from a website called Free Cycling. It's a coffee table and I've just took it off the legs and I'm gonna cut an L shape, which is gonna go where the cardboard is now. And then the rest of it, which is this segment that we're gonna cut off, we're gonna use it for our dining table here, slash office. Bon appétit. There we go. <laughs> ready for it? We're ready. So now what I'm trying to do is the side table that is gonna go there. I think we decided, but not not completely, but I think we decided that we're gonna do a burn effect. So we're gonna burn that wood and then um, varnish it. That's gonna be the the look though that's the length now I'm making the a system to hook it to the wall always recycling or uplifting this was a emergency light of the ambulance of course it's stripped here with lights this is all aluminium so my idea is this is gonna be attached to the base of the table like that and then when you need it you just put it like here like inside it that will be inside there that will clip so that's why I need to cut this line now see if it works simple solution but I think it will work that obviously attached to the wall 
and whenever you need the table you just click it like that and when you don't need it you just go behind the seats there today is all about making the compartment where the fridge and the sink is gonna be that's our freezer at the moment that we're gonna put a 12 volt compressor to make it a fridge uh, and that piece of wall there used to be on that size with the ambulance cover which now is our well not not already but soon will be our kitchen uh, so yeah I need to cut it to size and that's what I'm gonna be trying to do today fortunately the weather if you can see it is really really bad so I'm having to do it everything inside the van so I don't get wet so adds on on the complications of van transformation I've almost finished with this cupboard for the sink today I'm gonna finish that and try to finish that mess over there that's supposed to be our cooking hub and oven see how far we get today so today is a very important day Today is the day we find out whether or not this van weighs less than 3.5 tons. If we manage to take, well we've, we've basically put it on a big diet, we took off the tail lift, the air conditioning, a lot of batteries that we don't need. So if we manage to put it under less of 3.5 tons, that means we don't need to make a license. If we failed, means that it weighs more than 3.5 tons and we're gonna have to make a special license that is for vehicles that are go over 3.5 tons which is quite expensive it's about 800 pounds to do it here in UK and uh, honestly we would like to spend that on traveling not on a license so we'll see how it goes oh yes baby yes there we go I'm gonna take off all this crap out of the way and up we go so in order to take this van to the weight bridge, which is just two blocks that way, I need to take it out of here. But obviously we have a lot of stuff here. So I need to move. And it's a very difficult position to get in the van and out. As you can see, we don't have much space to actually do it. That's the longest part of the wall. So it needs to be very close so the neighbor can actually come in and out of this place. Uh, so, the van is on the way bridge. Bit of bad news to be honest. It's a little bit over. So we'll see if we can take some stuff, more stuff out. Hopefully, we'll get it under 3.5. Yeah. Pascal, are you ready? Where's your handbook right there? Today is day six. Pascal is gonna measure where we're gonna actually cut the door there. So if the door is crooked, we blame Pascal. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep on going with the covers that we're actually gonna use inside, cutting them and repurpose them. Ooh. And tomorrow, a little bit of um, entertainment with the electronics. Dun dun dun. To the cabin. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the second part of our project. <laughs>